welcome to my channel and today we will be talking about my coming out story. I used to be mates with lads in primary school and nursery and everything else. And then I got to high school and year seven, year eight, I was a nerd. I became good mates with a lad and people assumed, because when you're in high school, you're mates with a lad, people assume that you're in a relationship. That was the first time that I had thought about my sexuality because I was like, eh, I don't feel anything for this guy, just a friendship. And then me and this lad distanced ourselves and then I was in class and something came up about a gay couple or something to do with the gay community anyway. And that really made me think, like, why do I not find men attractive or why do I not feel an emotional connection with a man? Or a boy, boy, what's it boy? Or why have I never had a crush on a boy or anything like this? And it really made me start thinking about myself as a person and my sexuality. So I watch coming out videos, like you do them stupid quiz things as well. How to know if you're a lesbian, or how to know if you are gay or bisexual. Like I used to do them, and I used to be like, oh no, I've got this close, so I must be straight. And I'm like. How can you believe that, Beth? How can you believe you are that straight when you are that gay? Like, it doesn't make sense, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who did them quizzes and looked like coming out stories up. From that time period of us distancing ourselves from that friendship and me finding new friends, I was focusing on myself and who I am as a person. And that kind of started to make the clogs run even faster in my head. I don't know how I haven't got a brain, but it, it helped. And then, as I've got to more thinking about it, I became mates with my mate, we're gonna call her Apple, but she's like my best mate and always has been. And we were sat on these benches and I said to her, I said, I like girls. And she, she thought I was, she honestly thought I was joking because if you know me, if you know me pretty well, you know I like to joke a lot about things. Like, you know I like to make practical jokes or love to just mess about and just have fun so she thought i was honestly joking she was like oh you just you're just doing this as a joke i was like no this is this is me being honest like i am being honest right now i like girls and she was like she wasn't fussed about it she didn't even blink an eyelid she was like okay cool but i don't know she was always there for me like if i need to talk to her she'd still talk to me and then from year nine i moved to australia for a couple of months like half a year, a couple months. And every day I used to ask my mum, and he's like, Mum, what would you do if um, so and so were gay? Like, I've mentioned some of my siblings. I'd be like, What would you do if this person were gay or that person? And she's like, Beth, I don't really care. Like, I still love him. Still my kid. I was like, Okay. And then I used to, it got to a point where I was asking her every week, a couple of times. And I think she got really annoyed with it and irritated. So she just ended up asking me one day, and well, what happened was, I asked her, what would you do so-and-so again? She went, Beth. I went, yep. She was like, do you like girls? And I was like, yeah. But she's like, oh, so you're a lesbian. At that point, I came out as bisexual. We moved back to England. I texted my sister that currently lives over there still. A couple of weeks after I got back from Australia. And I was like, hello, blah, blah. I am gay. I like girls. I hope this doesn't change her opinion on me. I hope you're still my sister, love you to pieces, all this, all that, all this. And she was like, Beth, I'm not first. And she was like, I'm happy for you and all this. I was like, oh my God, what is going on? And I don't know what it was. I knew my family would accept me anyway because they have, my sister has a lot of gay mates and like, we just know, I don't know, like my mum's really accepting. Like she goes to gay bars and everything. She loves it, my mum loves it. I don't know why I'm so scared about it. I think it's the main problem of me telling people how I feel more than telling them that I'm gay. Because I wasn't fussed about people finding out I was gay. So then I text my other sister and my brother. They were perfect fine with it. They didn't bother. They just came in the house and went, hey, lesbian, and they didn't, they just joked about it. And I was like, yeah, okay. It was a summer day and I went to go see my sister because she needed help to do something with the garden. And my mum came with me and we were sat on the steps and my sister was asking me those questions. Have you got a boyfriend? Do you like any boys? Have 
got a girlfriend? Like she just snuck that one in. She's like, have you got a girlfriend? I was like, and my mum went, not yet, no, <laughs> not yet, no. And I was like, oh god, mum. And my sister was like, oh, so you like girls? I was like, yeah. And she, my mum goes, she's bisexual though. And my sister's like, okay, no problem. And I was like, has that actually just happened? Like, has my sister just come out for me? Like everyone in my family already knew. My mum and my sister came out for me. It didn't really matter, but. It was just funny. So I came back to high school in year 10 and I think it was like I walked through the corridor and everyone just stared at me. Or I'd walk through the like the grounds and people would just look at me and I was thinking maybe it's just because I'm back from Australia but I didn't think it was actually because I was gay. <laughs> so I think I just didn't I just didn't take notice to what was happening. I had Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and they could kind of tell by the way I was dressing outside of school and how I was acting and then I walked past someone in the corridor and they said something and I was like eh. and then I walked into a classroom like my first class and everyone was like are you gay? are you gay? and I used to go into the like, dinner hall and people would ask and I'm like yeah I won't fuss about it at all like it didn't bother me but it didn't bother them either, like, they was not fussed at all. Like, didn't even blink an eyelid. Like, they still, they still, like, said hi to me and didn't really, they didn't say out. I was the first person to come out. So, my year was fine with it. Nobody said out. It was, it was the year below that really, like, a couple of years below, like, year, t year nine, eight and seven. They took it in a totally different way. They thought, oh god, she's a lesbian. I'm like, okay, like, what is your deal? Like, what is your problem? But yeah, it didn't, it didn't bother me. It just mainly bothered them. And I was like, right, don't bother me. So I went through the whole of year 10 and 11. Year 11 I had, I was in a relationship. That was kind of weird. But yeah, and then people just figured it out for themselves because it was all over my social media, this, that, whatever. And I got into college and I was in another relationship. This was my second like serious relationship. So it come out. So I was in that one and I didn't tell my dad, I haven't told my dad from year nine. I told everyone in year nine and 10, but I've got into college. So this is three years after I told everyone that he's close to me. And it was like March, April time of 2017. And I said to my dad, I was like, because he always used to ring me up like, oh, you coming to mine this weekend, we'll have a movie night, this, that, whatever. I was like, oh, okay, I'm out with my mates, I'm staying at my mate's house. And he used to be like, all oh, right. And then he always used to be like, Beth, you're at your mate's a lot. And I was like, yeah. So it came to the point in like March and April time, I texted him, I said, um, hi, dad, just wanted to let you know I'm in a relationship and it's with a girl and um, I hope you can accept that and I hope you still love me and I hope I'm still your daughter and all this. And he was literally over the moon. I don't know why he was so over the moon, but he was happy as Larry. And it made us, it made us a lot more closer. And I'm not gonna lie at first, like when you tell people it's a bit awkward for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, because you don't know how to act and you don't know how to show yourself. But the more you get used to the person you are and accept yourself, you are a lot more easier to come out to people. To be honest with me, my coming out story, I wasn't fussed about coming out because it didn't bother me that people didn't accept me for who I am. It mainly, the reason why I was so scared to come out was because I do not like telling people how I feel or who I am as a person. I don't like people seeing my feelings. So I just literally was scared about that, not coming out and telling people I was gay and getting judged for it. I was scared about people knowing my feelings and stuff. It was, it was strange, like it didn't faze me that people hate me for being gay or whatever. The reason why I'm so comfortable in who I am today is because I have a lot of good friends and when I moved, when I got into college I met a lot of friends that are in the gay community and honestly they helped me become the person I am, as cheesy as that sounds, but they did like, they help you, they helped me be comfortable. I don't really have good advice for coming out because to me I didn't have any bad moments. I don't think I did. No, I didn't have any bad moments. I literally, I'd just say, be comfortable in who you are and don't let anyone else drag you down for who you are and find good friends. Like, if you don't have good friends who don't accept you for who you are, then don't let 
bad words or people with negativity affect you because I have learned this for myself if you let it affect you that's what they like to see they like to see you get dragged down but if you just make a joke out of it and throw it over your head they don't like that but that's what I do literally if someone says bad to me I'll be like good one mate like I'll make a joke out of it so yeah any negativity that comes towards your sexuality just make a joke out of it because I do that and it doesn't it hasn't bothered me so yeah make a joke out of any negativity that comes in your way uh, try and make people understand who you are as a person and just enjoy being you because honestly it's the best thing ever or and also go to pride because pride is the most amazing thing in the world it's where you can get drunk and enjoy your time so that is the end of my pronounced story and i hope you enjoyed it make sure to like subscribe and also hit the bell button because you will get a notification when i next upload a video next week's video will be a q a and I obviously need some questions for these to answer. So, honestly, uh, down below is all my social media, so you can either ask me stuff on there or you can go into the comments section and ask me stuff on there. 